Hey friends, I hope you're all okay. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, which I am so happy to say is a Walt Disney World trip announcement video. I can't quite believe it, but yes, we are returning to Walt Disney World for all the Christmas goodness, and I am so, so excited. You are joining me from the Premier Inn at Gatwick. I'm filming this video very... Um, much later than what I intended to do because we actually fly in the morning um, but yeah I wanted to put this out there and let you guys know uh, where we're going and what's happening so we are flying from Gawick tomorrow with British Airways we are flying uh, World Traveller Plus which is you know like premium economy um, it's the first time I've ever flew anywhere um, the, in, in a seat that isn't a normal economy seat. Um, but I'm traveling with mum and dad again and with their um, various health conditions, we felt like it was worth the extra to give premium economy a go just to give them some extra space and leg room and things like that. So hopefully it'll be a more pleasant experience for them. So I'm very excited to try um, World Traveler Plus and to see whether it's, um, you know, worth worth the price of the upgrade and what I think about it. So we're flying out tomorrow at just after 11 a.m. Uh, and we are going to Walt Disney World for 15 nights. We're going to be staying in all-star movies this time, which is the hotel that I stayed in um, when I was like 12, when I very first came over here. So I'm super excited to go back to that hotel. I love the theming. I mean, it, it's quintessential Disney. Um, we do have a preferred room booked again because of my parents, so that should mean that we're hopefully quite close to the lobby and all the amenities and stuff. Um, so all-star movies for 15 nights. Various really cool things planned. Um, we are going to be dining at a couple of old favourites from the 2019 trip that we wanted to revisit. So we're going to be doing breakfast in um, the Polynesian at Ohana's again, which was probably our favourite breakfast in 2019. So we're really excited to do that again. We're going to be doing lunch at Garden Grill, which was my pick, because um, I just love Garden Grill, so I'm really, really hyped to do that again. We are going to be doing lunch at Hollywood and Vine, which is mini seasonal dining. And we're also going to be doing lunch at Crystal Palace, which we've done breakfast before, but not lunch there. So that'll be um, a new experience for the food, but great to see the Winnie the Pooh characters. So those are the four character dining meals that we've got booked which i'm super excited for uh we're going to be doing uh, mickey's very merry christmas party of course um i don't think you can go out there at christmas time and not do the christmas party it's just i love it so so much you know the fireworks the parade the cookies the shows the atmosphere um i just love it so so much so i'm very excited to do the christmas party I'm doing my solo day at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure again, so if you saw the vlogs from last year, um, I had such a good day there last year, everything just seemed to fall into place and go really, really smoothly, so fingers crossed that I have another great day at Universal Studios. I really want to try and catch the Grinch show this year there, um, which I missed last time, so hopefully I can get in and see that this time. Um, there are a few new things at Disney, and as we know, Disney is always evolving, so there is some new stuff to check out on this trip. There is the new Moana Journey Through Water area at Epcot, which looks absolutely beautiful, and I cannot wait to walk around that and experience that. There's the new Tron ride that has now opened in the Magic Kingdom that wasn't open when we went last year, um, so... That's going to be a new ride to experience. And then also towards the end of our trip, the new fireworks at Epcot are starting. So I think the last time we go to Epcot on this trip um, will be a couple of days after the new fireworks kick off. So I'll be able to give feedback on those fireworks too. So plenty of new things. There's also things like, I mean, I love Figment. And there's a figment meet and greet now at Epcot, but the line is apparently horrendous for it. So 
I'm, I would love to do that, but whether or not that's going to happen, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Mickey and Minnie are doing a meet and greet together at Epcot now in their 100 outfits. That would be really cool to do. Um, obviously, all of the Christmas stuff, all of the Christmas stuff. <laughs> um, so loads and loads of exciting, cool stuff to do, as always. And I just feel very, very grateful and very, very blessed to be heading out to Walt Disney World once again. This is going to be my mum and dad's last time going. Um, health issues and things have, have meant that this will absolutely be the last time they go to Disney World. So we want to make the most of it. It's my, it's my priority to make sure that they get to do everything they want to do on this trip. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can have loads of fun and lots of magical times and it's just going to be a really, really great trip. So please do follow me along. Um, I'm going to start uploading the vlogs when I get home. So there'll be a travel day vlog next and then um, you can join me through the entire trip. So if you're just finding me now and you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. And whilst you're waiting for the new vlogs, please do go back and check the vlogs from 2019 and from last year to get a flavour of what to expect. And um, yeah, I will see you guys for travel day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care and bye for now.